Chicago. Amen. Yo, yeah. Uh -huh. Everything on the right hand side from we left the site, yeah. Uh, if you look the other way after the site, where it goes down the hill, the land starts there. And it's everything on the right hand side of the road till we get up and I'll show you where it branches off away from the road, yeah. And I'll show you where it ends. So, like uh, the area where I was saying there were three cul-de-sacs that I wasn't interested in doing just now, uh, are these three that we've just passed there because there's some engineering work to be done by there. So until that's done, I don't want to get anybody into building um, by the plots there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Basically, um, apart from a bit of farming, nothing else has been done on it. Slow down where this building is. Right. Um, right. The land starts to slope away from the road at this point. Yeah. So all of the land so far by the road is ours. Now it starts to slope away. So it goes straight past this mango tree. Uh, that's 10 foot from my boundary. Uh, it goes to that big tree there and then well, up to the top of the hill. We can't see yeah, yeah. So, so, so forward. Step up so they, yeah. you point but they can't see. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Sorry about that. Yeah. So um, what now? So, yeah. From the, 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 the land starts to slope away from the road here. Yeah. So we planted a mango tree to um, mark the boundary. It's 10 feet inside of the boundary, yeah? It carries on here. Uh, this, uh, was it Contum? Oh, say it, say it. No, no, no. Contum Ray, Contum Ray. Boundary marker. The, 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 the tree, the, the, the boundary marker tree. What's it called again? Contum Ray. Contum Ray. Contum Ray. Contum Ray, yeah. It marks it. And that big tree at the top, yeah? Yeah, There's a big tree at the top of the hill there. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's on my boundary. Yeah, right. Um, so it goes on. If you carry on now, right, and I'll show you where it ends. It's the land then slopes inwards. Yeah, away from the road. Yes, yeah, so it's going away from the road now. So when we get down here, I'll show you where it actually ends. Yeah. Um, because then we go on to somebody else's land and then the car can go up and turn around. There's no way for a bus this size to go onto the land where <laughs> we were going to take you and show you. It's too, um, too big and there's no way up there for it to turn around basically. Who's growing corn? Mm -hmm. Who's growing corn? Oh, it's just a local. It's just a local. Corn? Yeah. Um, no, where the land slopes away from the road, yeah, there's corn on both sides of the road. It's local farmers that grow it. So they're growing on the land? Um, this piece, yes. Um, right, we're not using the land, yeah? Mm -hmm. So it would be moral to stop people from, you with me? Right. Using it and doing something. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. So. It, as long as they're not building on it. Yeah. Right. So yeah. So this here now, you'll see the, you'll see there's a mango tree down there. Right. That's the furthest point this way of our boundary, and then it goes straight across from there, uh, about a thousand meters towards the back boundary, and then comes back up. Yeah. So in effect, the land ends in line with that mango tree there. Yeah, right. We can go down to a Dumbo Junction, which is a little way down there, about a quarter of a mile, and then turn around. Yeah. So that's about as much as I can show you of the land without getting off and doing some serious walking and cutting bush while we're walking. <laughs> yeah, Perfect. Well, you gotta everybody attention. Um, see if we can get some last minute questions or if you can. Uh -huh. Yeah. If there's anything anyone wants to ask. Can you share about what you shared with me about choosing your builder? Yeah, right. Um, yeah, what, what happened is there is planning permission for 300 homes, yeah? Um, and what we did was we just chose a three bedroom 
a four bedroom and a six bedroom bungalow. So if you get a plot, it already comes with planning permission. So if you then want to um, change it for something else, then you would be. That is done at very little cost. No, I was talking about if they go with you, you oversee the project because you're building oh, it. And yeah. if not, they have to be here for as long as they yes. see their building. Right, yeah. Um, okay, right. The, I'm in the building trade, yeah? Um, and part of the reason why I've put so much into it is because I am hoping that the company that I set up will gain some work helping to build people's houses, yeah? Um, so, like, we will build for you if you contract us to do it. You are not obliged to do so. You can choose whoever you want, but um, we, I have a duty to supervise, to make sure that buildings are being done according to certain specifications, yeah? Which is to do with the law, the building regulations here in Ghana, right? So if your building isn't being done by that, all I can do is inform you, yeah? If you use somebody else and they're not doing, sticking to the rules, then all I can do is inform you, yeah, right? Um, but you have the choice to have us do it for you if you want, yeah? You can get competitive quotes if you want, if you think that we're not gonna be, um, you know what I mean, you think we're too expensive or whatever. Any, any other questions? Yes. You said it's water right over here somewhere? Uh, what's that? You said rivers and waters over there? Right. Uh, there's streams on the land. That's yeah. That water there's, there's, there? Yeah, there's, there's some streams. Yeah. Um, and you get ponds of water that collect uh, because people have tampered with the streams by wind and sand. Right. So you get puddles of water that collect. But it's not. A, it's just because it's been raining all this dry season, why there's water there. <laughs> Normally there wouldn't be. <laughs> Anything else? I'm thinking this will break down the financial aspect of uh, the plot. So. Well, start to finish on three barrels. Uh-huh. Sorry, say that again? Start and finish. How long will it take? A three-bedroom bungalow, yeah. Uh, a three-bedroom bungalow, the best we've done is six months. But that's good. Uh -huh. The price. Uh, the price. Uh, what I've got is about 20, um, 24,000 pounds. That's what I've got. I did it for someone just recently, um, 24,000 pounds. But that, if you do a shell house, it's different. Um, that 24,000 pounds included floor tiling um, as well. Yeah? You and me. Right? Um, I, I, I don't know how to uh, think. A shell house is the walls, roof, windows, and doors. Yeah, um, with just basic toilets and um, shower facilities. Yeah, move in condition. Huh? Move in condition. Yeah, yeah. But if you if you want to then go into like tiling, some people want their bathrooms fully tiled and their kitchen fully tiled and all of that. That's additional costs. Yeah. Otherwise, it's what. Huh? It's, the last one I did for someone was 24,000. But it didn't have tile floors? Uh, no, that one had tile floors. Okay. Uh, and the two bathrooms were tiled okay. up to ceiling height. Okay. So it's about 36 US, 36,000 US? Yeah, there was about 36,000 US. Yeah. That's not bad, 30, 40,000. That's not bad. To but, build a house, that's not bad. But you do how you can. 
sometimes it's the choices of things that you ask to be put into the house that pushes up the price. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this village is also part of the land. Oh, that's what I that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's also part of the land. Uh -huh. So those are the people that's farming? Huh? Those, the vacant, the empty spaces, those are the ones that are really farming. Yeah, yeah, some of the, the people there. So perfect, so it's set up for be a true community. Yeah. Perfect. You enter, you interact, do you have any activities with them or anything like that? Uh, the children come to the school, we, you would be if I'm having an event, they're invited and so on. They invite me to their weddings and their names and stuff. You would be, there is that kind of social interaction. Yeah, true community, I like that. Yeah. So yeah. let's just say if you wanted to stay with them and make a $25,000 budget, uh -huh. could you still work with your particular contractors and then work with the next budget? Yeah, it is, it is possible. Two bedroom, maybe two bedroom. Yeah, it, it is even possible to do a three bedroom. Because they didn't know. Mm -hmm. That's cash up front. Mm -hmm. Cash up front. Uh, the, the way it works is you pay in phases. So it would be five, 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 five. Huh? Mm, it, it, it depends on you. Hey, what happens is the work is phased, yeah, and you say, right, I want you to do this phase at this point, this phase at this point. You with me? Yeah. Is it best to build after rainy season? Is it best to build after the rainy season? Good question. Uh, Not to be slowed down by the rains and stuff. Right. It, in the rainy season, it is better to be digging foundations. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. It's softer, right? That uh, yeah, softer. but it's not just that. If there are going to be problems with clay and stuff, clay and stuff. you want to find out when you're digging it. Yes. You don't want to um, dig in dry season yes. and you don't know and you've built on top of clay. Good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. That makes so, sense. What about flooding? Uh -huh. uh, right, like right. That, uh, okay. Waters. Yeah, that's, that's part of what I'm talking. We spent a quarter of a million US dollars making sure that this place drains. There's one piece that we haven't done, which is the last phase of the cul-de-sacs. We haven't done it yet, yeah? But we spent that money um, knowing that in the end we'll get it back, yeah? Or our children or grandchildren will get it back. But we did it because it needed to be done, yeah? So, like, you know, we've drained the site, yeah? Nice. Watching for the time, yeah? So th th there's a lot of things that's been done that hasn't been seen yet, apart from the workers who are doing it, even in local people, that you, even if I walk you through, I can show you the signs that we did the work, but unless you're gonna dig up the ground, and go down to find out what we did, you wouldn't <laughs> naturally see it. But it was to make sure that when we gave people within the cul-de-sacs, they were never gonna suffer from flooding. Perfect, so land is ready for people to move, ready for people to start building. What did you say about that? Sorry, say that again? For other contractors, you don't oversee it, I think. Yeah, you get, if you get your own contractor, yeah, you're responsible for them, yeah? Right. The only thing is, I will watch out for code violations. That's the way you say it in the US. Right. right. I will watch out for code violations and I will inform you yeah. of that. But I won't be able to stop them because they're not working for me, they're working for you. Right. So all I can do is inform you that, oh, they're doing this or they're doing that. Yeah? Perfect, perfect. Well, appreciate everything, right. Nolan. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks a lot for coming Thank and you. safe journey back. And please, 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 I'm begging. Don't, even if you don't come here, so, yeah? Don't let Babylon swallow your back. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You hear me? Yeah. All right, even if you don't come here, so. Yeah? Yeah. Don't make it swallow your back. Over the years, I've seen too many of my brothers and sisters come and they're enthusiastic. They go away and Babylon just mm, yeah. Yeah. and suck them in. Suck them right back in. Yeah. yeah? So I'm begging, you know, please. <laughs> yeah? The more of us that reach freedom, 
the better I feel. Especially yes. in the long run. Yes, sir. yes. Thank you very much. Yeah? Thank you. All right then, yeah? Safe journeys. Thank you. It was nice meeting you all. You all hear from me, yeah? Yes. Yeah.